Oh yes, it's time for a new video, because it's a warning. Some people have seen the pictures of the HM16, HM160, beautiful airplane, I have to admit it, looks great, but please, whatever you do, don't buy the plans, don't try to build it. It is truly still a dangerous airplane. There are three reasons for that. But let's first start with a bit of the history of that model. Indeed, the HM16 was designed by Harry Minier and he flew it. There were never plans made by the Minier family of that thing. It was not really that stable in the air. Now there was a guy, Georges Jacquemin, who probably liked it too, and he started making plans of the airplane based on pictures of what he saw, not on the true flying model. Now, those plans are still being sold Whoever is selling them with the concept of these are the plans you need to construct one, now that guy is a crook because it is an unstable, deadly airplane. If he sells them as archives so you can study them and see just what the work of Hardy Minier was like in his MH16, Okay, you do it at your own risk, but you're throwing away money, sadly. Anyway, three reasons why it's not safe. It is about weight and weight distribution on the wings. Very bizarre, it is the same George Jacquemin who tells in his book about the technical notes about the flying flea that the loading of the front wing shouldn't be higher than 6.5 pounds per square feet. That's about uh, 31.8 kilograms per square meters. Now, if you start studying the plants he made himself, okay, you will see that the airplane just tightly fits in the regulations of ultralight in the USA. Just. But when you start looking at the details, you see that one thing is totally messed up. There is one indication that is being pronounced in pounds well, that's impossible because it should have been kilograms. And with that new data, it just goes over the limit of ultralight. Now, that's an awkward coincidence, isn't it? Okay. If you put in the right data and you have a lift distribution, rear wing, front wing, with the CG in 25% of the total court, then you will see that the numbers you get are really a lot higher than the ones being indicated by Georges Jacquemin as being the limit. It is overloaded that front wing. Not good for stability. If you look at the HM16 from the side, you will see there is a lot of side area in front of the CG. And there is very small side area behind the CG. Now, in turns, that gives instability. 
to counter a side wind that gives instability. Again, instability. Don't do it. The HM16 is really short. Now, it is the shortest couple flying flea. It had very, very short cord. Very short cord. Now, the short coupled airplane like that is really hard to maintain at the same height. It flies wave style. Pilot induced oscillations more than possible. Three reasons why never to build an HM-16 based on the plans of Georges Jacquemin. 